Now that you have your MARC record, let's learn a few things that you'll want to look at before saving. Once you select your record from the MARC Assistant Search, you will notice that Alexandria does the work for you. It will add the information in the record into the appropriate fields. However, there are a few things you'll want to look at before just saving the record. The first thing is the call number. You will notice that the call number that is used came from the record you selected. Since these records are sourced from different libraries, you'll want to adjust the call number to fit your call number convention. For example, if you see the Dewey number in this field, but you label your call numbers by FIC, you'll want to change that. Make sure you do. Otherwise, your patrons will have issues finding your books on the shelves when searching your collection. After you have taken care of that, you will notice several other tabs across the top of the record. After creating a title record, you will always default to the publication tab. You'll notice that there are several other tabs as well. There are subjects, terms, notes, other, and study programs. You'll want to look through these tabs to ensure all the information is imported correctly. In the Other tab, you can select the magnetic medium, but you may also add links. This allows you to put relevant links that will show up in search. Perhaps you know of a great interview of the author on YouTube. You can add a link to that video, which your patients may access right through search. To do so, click Add. Once you do, you'll be given the option to give a link description, and you'll be able to place the video link in the link URL field. If you wish, you can then click Test to ensure that it worked. Click Add, and you're done. Last but not least is study programs. If you need to add study programs, you may add study programs that are relevant to the book, such as the Lexile score or Accelerated Reader Reading Level. Click the plus button, then you'll be able to select from the study programs that you use. Once added, off to the right, you'll see the different fields that will allow you to put the values pertinent to the book you're cataloging. Once you've covered all these steps, Go ahead and click Save in the upper right-hand corner. Congratulations, you've created your very own title record in a few easy steps. In our next course, we will complete our record by creating the physical copies that you will be circulating in your library.